Cloud engineers play a crucial role in the designing, managing, and maintaining cloud-based systems for organizations. They collaborate with various teams to identify the best cloud solutions, modify existing systems, and ensure these systems meet the organization's requirements. Here are some of the key responsibilities of cloud engineers. Engineers are responsible for designing cloud-based infrastructure for organizations. They manage and oversee the implementation and maintenance of these systems. First, they collaborate with engineering and development teams to evaluate and identify the best cloud solution for their organization's needs. They also work on deploying and debugging. This involves the deployment of cloud systems and debugging any issues that arise during and after development. Educating and training is also an important responsibility for cloud engineers as it's often necessary to educate other team members on the implementation of new cloud technologies and initiatives. Cloud engineers interact with their clients to provide support for their cloud-based systems and make recommendations based on the client's needs. Crucial responsibility of cloud engineers is maintaining security. Ensuring the security of cloud-based systems is a key part of this role. This includes identifying and resolving vulnerabilities and maintaining compliance with security policies. Finally, the last major responsibility of cloud engineers is improving existing systems. This involves regularly reviewing and improving existing cloud systems to enhance functionality and efficiency. Let's take a look at what a day in the life of a cloud engineer involves in a traditional business environment. Here's a breakdown of what a typical day for a cloud engineer might look like. The day starts often with meetings with project development teams. These are usually brief stand-up meetings where each participant updates on their previous day's work, plans for the current day, and discusses any challenges they face. This is also where cloud engineers identify how to assist the teams with cloud services and set priorities for the day. Next, another significant part of the day involves monitoring the performance of cloud infrastructure using various tools. This helps in detecting potential issues like security breaches, network congestion, and server downtime early, allowing for quick resolution before they escalate. The next part of the day can involve developing, implementing, and maintaining applications and databases in the cloud. They optimize these for scalability, security, using platforms like AWS, Google, Cloud, and Azure. Cloud engineers can also be involved in the troubleshooting and maintenance of any cloud-related issues. Despite the stability of cloud computing, issues can still arise. Cloud engineers are on call to work with developers, administrators, and operators to identify and fix these problems as soon as possible. Finally, cloud engineers can work on creating documentation. Creating and maintaining documentation of cloud designs and data flows is a crucial task. Though often last priority task, it's a vital for the consistency of operations and processes over time. Next, let's discuss the skills that are required to become a cloud engineer. This typically involves a mixture of both technical skills and soft skills. In terms of technical skills, having an in-depth knowledge of major cloud service providers like AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud is crucial. This involves understanding their services, strengths, weaknesses, and using their tools effectively. Next, knowledge of virtualization technologies like VMware and Hyper-V is important for efficient resource allocation in cloud environments. Fundamental networking concepts like IP addressing, subnets, routing, virtual private cloud VPC for short, and virtual network VNet are also essential for configuring and securing cloud networks. Skills in scripting languages like Python and PowerShell are also vital for automating tasks and reducing errors in cloud management. Next, understanding container technologies like Docker and orchestration tools like Kubernetes is integral for application scalability and deployment efficiency. The last key skill that cloud engineers should have is skills in implementing load balancing techniques and auto scaling solutions because this is a key for managing scalable cloud applications.
Next, let's go over some additional small technical skills that are nice to have for cloud engineers. First, we have an understanding of both SQL and NoSQL databases. Next, knowledge of platforms like AWS Lambda and Azure Functions. Knowledge of infrastructure as cool tools like Terraform and AWS CloudFormation. Next, we have container orchestration platforms like Amazon ECS and Azure Kubernetes services. Next, a familiarity with frameworks like CIS Benchmarks or NIST. Next, familiarity with microservices architecture and serverless patterns. The last key skill that is nice to have is understanding and designing effective disaster recovery and backup solutions in the cloud. Now let's talk about the soft skills required to become a cloud engineer. Well, there's mainly two, communication slash collaboration skills and adaptability. Effective communication is necessary for working with cross-functional teams and conveying technical information. Being adaptable and embracing change is also a key soft skill as the industry is rapidly evolving and changing. Let's talk about the salaries that cloud engineers are expected to make based on experience, location, and job title in the United States. Entry-level cloud engineers earn an average of about $132,000 per year with a range from $56,000 to almost $200,000. Senior cloud engineers have an average salary of about $160,000 per year, ranging from a salary of $105,000 to $250,000. Finally, vice presidents of cloud engineering can command an average salary of about $296,000 per year, with a range on the low end at $183,000 to a high end of $490,000. In terms of who's hiring for these cloud engineers, many of the top companies do, some of which include AWS, Deloitte, and Parficient. These companies represent a range of industries such as technology, professional services, accounting, and more, reflecting the broad demand for cloud engineers across several different sectors. Currently, AWS, also known as the subsidiary of Amazon, has the largest number of openings for cloud engineers, followed closely behind Deloitte, a leading firm in financial and technical implementation of consulting. Let's say now that you're interested in starting your career as a cloud engineer. So where exactly do you start? First, you need an educational background. A strong foundation in computer science or information technology is often essential. So to accomplish this, you should try to aim to get a degree and bachelor's in computer science, IT, software engineering, or a related field. Now that you have that educational background, you should also learn key skills and technologies, like gaining a deep understanding of cloud platforms, such as AWS, Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud Platform, and familiarize yourself with networking, virtualization, operating systems, and database management. Next, begin developing a proficient knowledge in programming languages relevant to the cloud computing, such as Python, Java, or Go. Now, it's time to get certified. Consider obtaining certifications from major cloud providers like AWS, Azure, or Google Cloud. These certifications are highly valued in the field and can significantly enhance your employability. Finally, the last step is to look for entry-level positions. Look for entry-level positions or internships in cloud computing or related fields to gain industry experience. 